Hi, this is Harish Bali from Technofair.com. While there are many softwares that allow screen share, but my favorite is TeamViewer. The best thing that I like about TeamViewer is that at the time of installation, you are asked whether you want to use it for personal or business purpose. I have been using TeamViewer now since last couple of years and I am quite satisfied with the rich feature that this tool has got. To learn more, watch this video. Go to TeamViewer.com. Depending upon your OS, choose the option from the download. Since I am using Windows, I will choose Windows. Otherwise, if you are using Mac or Linux, you can choose an appropriate link and start downloading this software on your computer system. Download. I have got the setup. Let me install it now. Run. You will see three options under how do you want to proceed and three options under how do you want to use TeamViewer. If you choose basic installation, this will help you install software properly on your computer system. If you use this option, it will help you configure TeamViewer to automatically start along with Windows system service. Run only. If you choose this option, the TeamViewer will execute on your system without installation. How do you want to proceed? How do you want to use TeamViewer? If you want to use it for personal purpose, choose personal purpose. Otherwise, you may have to pay to buy the license. Accept run. After the installation is complete, you will see remote control and meeting in the TeamViewer dialog box. Below that, you will also see the user ID and password. Also look at enter a personal password to access this computer from anywhere. This option is used to configure TeamViewer to automatically start along with Windows system service and you can choose a permanent password too, through which you will be able to access your computer from any time via TeamViewer. And on the right hand side you will see few options, partner ID. It requires your partner ID and password to connect if your partner is also using TeamViewer. Remote control. This option is used to control your partner's computer or allow both of you to work together on a single computer. File transfer. This option is used to transfer file from your partner's computer to your computer. In some of the OS you may see an option by the name VPN just below this which will be used to create a virtual private network with your partner's computer to share files on a network or play games over a network. On the bottom left hand side you will see lights, green means ready to connect, yellow means it's authenticating and red would mean that your network was interrupted and you need to try again. My friend Johnny has just sent me his partner ID over an SMS. Let me enter the same here and access his computer system. Connect to partner, password, log on. Yeah, this is the computer system of my friend Johnny and this is the ID and password that I just enter. Now this is the start menu of my computer and this is the start menu of the computer that I am right now controlling. I can go and make any changes in this computer. I mean I can go and install a program. I can go and maybe delete a file if needed and so on. Let me now run you through all these options that you see at the top. Actions switch sides with partners. This option is used to switch the direction of the remote control session and allow your partner to control your system. Control plus Alt plus Delete. This option allows you to use key combinations to the remote computer to access task manager or log off the account etc. Lock computer. With this option you can switch windows user account or log back to the same windows session. Remote reboot. This option will allow you to restart the remote computer. As soon as the computer has restarted, you can re-establish the TeamViewer connection as well. Send key combinations. This option is used to transmit key combinations. For example, if I use Windows key plus R simultaneously on my computer system, I will see this run command dialog box of my computer. But at the same time, if I go and choose send key combinations and open Simultaneously press Windows key plus R from my computer system. This is the run command dialog box of my partner. Okay, let's now go to disable remote input. It prevents mouse and keyboard input on the remote computer. Show black screen. 
it switches the monitor of the remote computer to a black screen let's also explore the options under view quality you can choose any of the display quality and transmission speeds scaling this option refers you how you want to see the remote screen on your local computer i keep this at best fit active monitor this option allows you to see the monitor screen at the same time in a single window if your partner is using multiple monitors screen resolution allows you to change the screen resolution on the remote computer select single window it allows you to choose a specific window from your partner screen for this you need to click on the window screen that you want to view show whole desktop this option will show you the entire screen of the remote computer refresh you can refresh this screen remove wallpaper this option allows you to hide the wallpaper on the remote computer show remote cursor this option shows your partner's mouse pointer to on the screen let's now see the options on audio video in most computer systems you will see voip as the first option voice over ip it it will allow you to transmit voice over ip with your partner you will also see video or my video option which will allow you to do a webcam video transmission for chat you can do chat with the partner the one with whom your computer is connected under this file transfer menu you will see two options file transfer and file box file transfer will allow you to transfer files from your local computer to your remote computer and file box it will allow you to share files with your partner in remote control session and using drag and drop feature of team viewer let's now go to extras you can take a screenshot of the displayed content on the remote computer you can also use this option record it will allow you to record the current remote control session as a video for vpn this option will allow you to create a virtual private connection between the connected computers it only works if both the computers have installed the team viewer vpn driver remote update it allows you to check the recent version of team viewer on the remote computer and install updates if required remote system info it will allow you to check the recent version of team viewer on the remote computer and install updates if needed these are the computer information of the partner computer let's now come back to the team viewer dialog box where the second tab was meeting in this option you can start and manage planned meetings or presentations video call or phone calls for this you need to enter the meeting id and your name to join the meetings where your name will be visible to all the participants these types of meetings are scheduled in business organizations where the license for team viewer is required as the number of possible meeting participant depends upon your license meeting function provides instant meeting with up to 25 participants you can plan meetings in advance and send them a meeting request through my microsoft outlook you can manage scheduled meetings you can join meetings when you are traveling via using your android or ios team viewer app now let's come back to the team viewer dialog box and take a look at the options on the top menu of the dialog box connections it features the option to pro invite partner and set up unattended access these two options are not relevant to hosting or joint meeting extras it provides the option to access the settings it provides the access to play the recorded session video it will allow you to recommend team viewer to other friends open log files it will allow you to see the system logs created by team viewer and activate license it will allow you to activate your license key on your computer or to buy your license and on the help menu it allows you to check for the new version of team viewer to give feedback etc note the number of users you can add to your company profile is 250 for premium and 500 for corporate within your profile last but not the least let me now show you how to transfer files from one computer system to another i have got a 45 mb video on my computer system which i am going to transfer to my partner's computer name of the video is how to use google forms to collect data this is the video size of the video is 45 mb to transfer this video all that i need to do is click on file transfer in my case this link is already open 
choose the link where the video is kept it's on the desktop name of the video is how to transfer google forms i'm just selecting it on the other window which is the partner's computer choose the destination i want to transfer it on the desktop and simply press press this button send please select a destination folder on the remote computer i can open the desktop and pick up one of the folders new briefcase and click on send it has taken about 30 seconds to transfer this 45 mb video to the other computer system which i think is really brilliant let's see the video this is the remote desktop this is the new briefcase yeah this is the video let me send this message to johnny through an chat check your new briefcase folder for the video i have just transferred sent johnny has sent revert sure will watch and revert cool good sent that's all about how to use team viewer if you found this video useful do give it a thumbs up also watch other interesting videos by clicking on the links appearing in front of your screen don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching